What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of my pet peeves series and today I'm going to be sharing with you a few pet peeves that are YouTuber related. Whether they are for coming up with ideas for your videos or editing or recording your videos. A whole bunch of pet peeves for YouTuber related things I put together and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. If you are a YouTuber yourself, you may relate to some of these and if you do, comment down below which ones or if there's some pet peeves that I didn't put on my list Comment them down below as well, but let's get right into this. So the first YouTuber pet peeve that I have is when you are working on editing a video and partway through it crashes and you have to start over. This is one of the most frustrating things when it comes to, for me, YouTuber related, and it used to happen all the time for me. But now I kind of learn why it crashes and I try to avoid doing it that way. And one of the things that I do to avoid it crashing is I always save every couple seconds. Whenever I'm doing edits on my videos and I'm cutting and chopping and doing different things like that, I try to save a lot. I try to just always click save. So if it does corrupt, all you have to do is close the application, which a lot of the time I use Movie Maker, reopen it open your saved work and usually from where you saved last will be saved. So if I wait till the end of the video to save it, a lot of times it, if it crashes, I lose all that work I edited on. So it's kind of a learning thing. You have to learn how to deal with the crashes if they happen. But for me, they don't happen too often anymore, but they used to all the time. The next one is when you work hard on a video, something you are proud of and it doesn't do well in views, but a video that you think isn't the top quality and isn't going to get that many views does pretty good. This is something that happens with me a lot of the time, especially when I'm doing uh, different videos and I'm experimenting with different things. Um, some videos that I'm like, it's an experiment, so I hope to get a bare minimum, maybe 20 to 50 views, and it does 200, 300, 400, or a video not too long ago of mine got a couple thousand views, and I'm like, wasn't expecting that but some videos that you're expecting to like for me I'm expecting to get around a hundred or two hundred views if they only get like 20 views it's a little bit saddening but for me I take that with a grain of salt because to me it's a, a learning step okay that didn't do good is there's something I could have done differently could I have recorded could I have structured the video a little bit differently to make people want to watch it Maybe the thumbnail could have been a little bit better to make people want to click on it. Different things like that. Uh, it, to me, it's just a learning uh, experiment, basically, to uh, learn what to do next time and maybe change things a little bit differently. The next one is once you want to record videos and have things to record, but you have no time to record them. This happens all the time with me because on my phone, which is what I use to record, I have a note which I always put my ideas and I usually have about 10 to 15 videos in that note folder that I'm ready to record and I'm ready to go do but I'm sadly only able to record once a week or sometimes not even once a week sometimes it's once every two weeks so anytime that I have to record I try to record multiple videos in that sitting I try to do uh, as many videos as I can, but still give the same quality. So it does suck when you have videos to record and no time to record them. Thankfully, I have my truck now. So if there's any video where I'm doing a story time or a prediction video or something like that, I can go and record in my truck. I can just go for a drive, park somewhere, record it. And to me, that does help out a lot, but it does suck when you have no time to record your videos. The next is when you finished all of the videos you had prepared to record and you have nothing left on your list to record, then you get time out of the blue to record videos, but you have nothing to record. To me, that is one of the most frustrating things because I'm always sitting there and if all of, a, all of a sudden I have time to record, but I have nothing to record because I've already recorded it all, it just is really saddening to me because it's like I, I have time to record. I always have to take any time that I ever record. I always have to be recording something, but if I have nothing to record now and I have all this time that I could be recording, it just weighs heavy on me. It's like, damn, I should be recording now, but I have nothing to record. Thankfully, I do react videos, so I might just open up the trending and see what's trending and do that now, but it is something that is a little frustrating for me. 
Next is when you work hard on a video, but it gets flagged for copyright. Now, a lot of my videos don't usually get flagged for copyright, but some of my early videos did, and you kind of learn what to do and what not to do when it comes to copyright. But one of the things now that happens to me is when I do my reaction videos, whether it's a song or a movie trailer or something like that, if I do it a certain way, some of my early ones when I would react to a song or a movie trailer, they'd get flagged right away. Um, but typically, whenever it comes to copyright, movie trailers at least, uh, the companies will put ads on your videos. Like I don't have ads on my channel right now, but they will put ads on the videos and any money that they make off of the ads goes to them. I don't get a dime of it, but most of them will let you keep uh, uh, the video up. Some of them won't let you take, sorry. Some may ask you to take the video down, which never happened to me yet. Some might make it where 50 countries aren't allowed to watch it, so you don't get any views on it. Some might make it where you can't watch it on phones, which I find a lot more people watch videos on phones these days. But for me, I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, people that, when my movie trailer ones get flagged, they usually just get any revenue from the ads, which isn't much anyways. So that is one thing though. The next one is when people ask for sub for sub. And whenever I started my channel, a lot of people ask for sub, sub for sub, so I looked into it and found out that it actually harms a lot of channels. It does more harm than good because YouTube, yes, you get all these subscribers, but you get no watch minutes, you get no views, and that doesn't do anything for your channel. And once a year now, YouTube will go and any of the subscribers that just subscribe to you, but they don't... Um, they aren't active on your channel, they aren't commenting, they aren't watching your videos or anything, there's no watch time from them, they'll just go and take them off your subscriber count anyways. So if you do sub for sub, they eventually will get wiped off your account anyways, so there's no real point for it. I'm against sub for sub, I will never use it. The next one is recording a video and once you're done, you think that it needs to be recorded because it didn't come out good enough. This is something that always goes through my mind constantly whenever I'm doing videos and whenever I'm recording videos. There's just like a voice in the back of my head that says that like once I'm done recording the video, that could have been a lot better. That sucked. That needs to be redone. I have to re-record it because I just, in my head, I don't think it came out good. But what I usually do is I sit down with it anyways, because like I said, I don't have much record time anymore. So I'll sit down anyways, put it into Movie Maker, start editing it. And I find that it comes out better than I imagined. And it comes out like a perfect video. So I don't have to re-record it. So typically now if in my head, I think what I just recorded is crappy. I'm going to have to re-record it. I will attempt to edit it anyways. And if I find when I'm editing it, yes, it could have been better. By all means, I'll go and re-record it. But a lot of the time, I find it comes out awesome and I'm proud of it, so I don't have to re-record it. So it's just something, I don't know if it happens to all YouTubers, but it definitely happens to me from time to time. And the last one is forgetting to make a thumbnail and you're remembering that you need to make it when you're uploading the video. So my internet connection is really slow. So it takes sometimes an hour, maybe two hours to upload a video. So I usually do it overnight. I'll leave my laptop turned on, uploading the video, and I'll just have my screen turned down low so you can't really see it. And by the time I wake up in the morning, the video is uploaded. And usually when I start uploading the video, that's when I realize I don't have a thumbnail ready. And the internet's so slow that I can't go make it right now. Which in a way is a good thing because at least in my opinion, my thumbnails are a lot better now. And back whenever I used to rush to do thumbnails, they were kind of sloppy and they weren't the greatest. For me, I'll upload the video, but I will leave it private. And then the next morning when I wake up, I will go and I'll work on the thumbnail and make it something that I'm proud of, make it actually look good. And then I'll upload the video with that thumbnail and turn it to public. Just for me, I don't want a sloppy thumbnail. I don't want something quick. I want to be proud of everything from the video to the topic to the what I edited in the video, but also the thumbnail. So I try to do that. So it does suck when you forget to make the thumbnail originally, or you th or sometimes I think I already made the thumbnail. I'll upload the video and realize I don't have a thumbnail, so I'll have to go and make one really quick. But I try to do quality over quantity. I don't try to rush my thumbnails anymore. 
some of them might appear that way, but uh, for me, I don't. So these are my top pet peeves for being a YouTuber. Some of these can be relatable, and I want to know if you are a YouTuber yourself, which ones are your pet peeves on this list as well, or is there any that I didn't mention that are your pet peeves when it comes to making your videos for your channel, different things like that. Comment down below, but I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.